Okay, so, Boston Dynamics just dropped another Atlas video, and I swear, every time I watch one of these, I feel like I'm living in the future. This time, Atlas is out here running, crawling, and even breakdancing, like full-on legwork combos and cartwheels. And this is right after their last video where it was picking up and moving stuff like it's no big deal. I mean, what's really striking is how fluid and human-like its movements are becoming. This is a huge leap in what robots can actually do. So, let's break it all down. What's new, how they're pulling this off, and why it matters. Trust me, you're gonna wanna see this. Let's start with walking. For us, walking is second nature, but for a robot, it's actually a pretty complex task. Atlas has to balance itself, adjust to different surfaces, and coordinate all its movements to stay upright. In the video, you can see how smooth and natural its walking motion has become compared to their previous ones. When it transitions to running, it leans forward to launch itself and then pulls back to slow down, just like how we do it. This level of fluidity is thanks to reinforcement learning, where Atlas learns by trial and error, refining its movements over time. Reinforcement learning is a big part of what makes Atlas so capable. Boston Dynamics uses motion capture and animation data from humans to train the robot. Essentially, they give Atlas a starting point by showing it how humans move, and then the robot practices and improves through simulations and real-world trials. For example, when Atlas does a cartwheel or transitions from a handstand to a round-off, it's not just following a script, it's adjusting its balance and momentum in real time to pull off the move. One of the best decisions for Atlas was to go fully electric, moving away from hydraulics, as the electric system gives it more strength, efficiency, and a wider range of motion, not to mention less noise. That's how it can do things like swivel its hips, waist, arms, and neck independently. During the handstand to round off transition, for instance, Atlas uses its swiveling hips to rotate its legs while keeping its upper body stable. It's a small detail, but it makes a huge difference in how natural the movements look. The video also shows Atlas crawling, doing some breakdancing, which is honestly kind of wild to watch. The robot pulls off legwork combos and ends with a cartwheel, showing off not just strength and coordination, but also a sense of rhythm and timing. If you check the comments on their official video, you'll see plenty of people genuinely impressed by the robot's smooth, human-like movements, with some even calling it the most realistic human walk they've seen so far. It's a fun demonstration, but it also highlights how far robotics has come in replicating the nuances of human movement. Before we get to the next point, hit the like button to prove you are not a robot. Moving on, Boston Dynamics is deepening its collaboration with NVIDIA to enhance Atlas's capabilities, marking a significant step forward in the development of humanoid robotics. At GTC 2025, NVIDIA's CEO Jensen Huang unveiled the GR00T model for robotics, a groundbreaking framework designed to improve the learning and decision-making abilities of humanoid robots. This model is a key component in advancing Atlas's intelligence, enabling it to perform complex tasks with greater precision and adaptability. Central to this collaboration is NVIDIA's Jetson Thor computing platform, which powers Atlas's AI systems. Jetson Thor is a compact, high-performance platform capable of running complex, multimodal AI models. These models integrate seamlessly with Atlas's whole body and manipulation controllers, allowing the robot to execute tasks that require both physical dexterity and cognitive decision-making. Additionally, Boston Dynamics and NVIDIA are leveraging Isaac Lab, an open-source framework built on NVIDIA's Isaac Sim and Omniverse technologies. Isaac Lab provides a virtual environment for robot learning, enabling developers to train and test AI policies in physically accurate simulations. This approach accelerates the development of advanced locomotion and manipulation skills, such as walking on uneven terrain or handling delicate objects. By combining real-world data with virtual training, Atlas is becoming more intelligent and adaptable. Aaron Saunders, Chief Technology Officer at Boston Dynamics, emphasized the significance of this collaboration. Robots are the bridge between simulation and the real world. With the current generation of our electric Atlas, we are building the world's most capable humanoid, and collaborating with NVIDIA to integrate Jetson Thor means that Robot now has the highest performance compute platform behind it. 
Isaac Lab, is allowing us to develop state-of-the-art AI capabilities, and the early results are exciting. This collaboration between Boston Dynamics and NVIDIA represents a major milestone in robotics. By integrating cutting-edge AI and computing technologies, Atlas is not only becoming more capable, but also setting the standard for the next generation of humanoid robots. Atlas isn't just a lab experiment, it's gearing up for real-world action, and Boston Dynamics is making serious moves to bring it into industrial settings. Later this year, Atlas will be put to the test in Hyundai Motor Group's vehicle factories, starting with Hyundai's electric vehicle plant in Georgia, followed by Kia's electric van factory in Hwasyong, South Korea. These trials are a big deal, as they'll push Atlas to prove its worth in tasks like assembling vehicles, handling materials, and tackling precision work in the fast-paced, unpredictable environment of a factory floor. We've already gotten a sneak peek of what Atlas can do. In a previous demo, the robot autonomously arranged car parts, using advanced sequencing tech to organize and transport engine covers in a simulated factory setup. With its machine learning smarts and precise manipulation skills, Atlas efficiently identified and placed components exactly where they needed to go. It was a clear sign that this robot has what it takes to handle industrial tasks. It's also being prepped to work in low-light conditions and respond to urgent situations, making it even more adaptable to the challenges of real-world factories. If these trials go well, they could open the door for humanoid robots to become a regular site in factories, warehouses, and even construction sites. While Atlas steals the show, Boston Dynamics is also pushing boundaries with projects like Spot and Orbit, enhancing their capabilities to tackle real-world challenges. Spot, the agile quadruped robot, has seen some impressive upgrades. It now features acoustic vibration sensing, allowing it to perform ultrasonic inspections on equipment like conveyor systems to detect early signs of bearing failures. This helps prevent costly downtime. Spot's also equipped with reality capture, using laser scanning to create precise 3D models of facilities, perfect for tasks like factory design or equipment installation. Plus, its navigation system has been fine-tuned to better avoid obstacles like carts and wires, making it safer and more efficient in busy industrial settings. Spot's already making a difference in the field. For example, Historic England used Spot to assess structural damage in disaster-stricken heritage buildings. With its scanners, Spot navigated hazardous areas to create detailed 3D models, helping preserve and restore historic sites. Then there's Orbit, Boston Dynamics robot fleet management platform. Recent updates include multi-docking support, letting Spot recharge along its route for longer missions. The alert triage feature helps operators quickly address critical issues, while streamlined workflows make deploying Spot faster and easier than ever. Together, Spot and Orbit showcase Boston Dynamics' commitment to building a comprehensive robotics ecosystem, solving complex problems, and boosting efficiency across industries. That's the future of robotics, Atlas leading the way with human-like agility, tackling real-world challenges. It's amazing to see how far we've come and where we're headed. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more on the latest in robotics and AI.